Today on Kung Fu Maintenance, I've got the remnants of what was a reverse osmosis system. They had tapped the ice maker line and they rehooked that up correctly, but on the drain portion, they had left this opening in the drain. Don't want to leave that there, so today we're going to fix that up. Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. So I'm going to put in a reverse osmosis system here. And we don't want to leave this thing open. Like that. So, you know, the top part of it's open. So what I've got is another, uh, all of a sudden I don't remember the name, but it's a... Uh, It has a name. Yeah, oh, it'll come to me in a little bit. I'm gonna change it out first. So, just loosen that one, move that one. A couple screws here. It has this flanged end tubular. It's a tailpiece. It's called a tailpiece. So we're gonna change out the tailpiece. See if they left this end flanged. There we go. And they did. Okay, so we'll take that and with this, just take the gasket over there. And I'll probably take back the black portion of the tube. It's like some chunk. This was this is like this shaped piece here that they used. I don't know why they did it that way. But that's what they did. Anyway, here goes the gasket. Follow it up with this piece here. Make sure there's no roll in our gasket and that it seats flush. this deal inserts like so so the gasket pushes against the tubular end and on this end we're gonna slide in this piece and a little o-ring beveled washer it's gonna go into this side and then we're just gonna rotate it in sometimes you'll need to trim them down this one was exactly the right size so it makes that nice and easy it's just all hand tighten if you needed to trim it, you'd want to trim the non-beveled end. On this portion. That one was a little stubborn. Definitely going to need to leak check that and we'll do a pressure test. Make sure nothing's leaking. I don't want to just leave this open under there. Just a place for stuff to get clogged up, especially as this gets smaller in the T, this is actually a T piece, and that stuff was already getting clogged up in there. So, I want to correct things, make things right. There we go. There we go. Seems all good. Now ready to run the water. This cord here, I want to loop it up and over the top here rather than having it possibly dangling in any water. So we'll make that better. Alright, 
better. Now I'm going to run the water. And I don't have the deal for the pressure test, so I'm missing the black plug. I need to get one of those. No water leaking here on the on the washer. Set that in for now. This may be useful somewhere else for something else, but not for this. Alright. I'm gonna need to get the black plug for this. Alright. Okay, so I went and grabbed the plug. Now we can do the pressure test. And I needed a plug for this unit anyway. So, it should work out good. And this forces a lot more water through and make any minuscule leaks show up. So it's a good thing. Okay, that ought to be enough water. Turn the disclose on. Pull the plug. Make sure you have no leaks. Awesome. Nice. Alright, no leaks. Did sound a little like something was down there though. Looks like a little piece of funk. Get rid of that. Something else too. Like little, little bits of plastic, or like that. Should be better. Oh yeah, nice and quiet now. Actually, sounds like there's still a little piece of something in there, but you get the idea. Quick search of my YouTube channel, you should find a bunch of different videos that'll be helpful to your maintenance needs. Also, there's links in the description below the videos to tools and parts used in the videos.